welcome back I am finally back with another video this is my beginners minecraft non euclidean tutorial very simple so all you gotta do to get started is get, get these blocks uh, not this if you are in survival because in survival you wouldn't use this as much because you only make the nether portals but let me just tell you what this mod is, what you can do with it, and some useful commands and stuff with it. So, the Immersive Portals mod, it's a very simple mod. Uh, but you can do a lot more than just make portals. So, it makes it so you can look right through portals. And it ju doesn't just do that, you can actually walk right through them without hitting the loading screen and you can even break through them I just broke the portal that was not what I meant to do but yeah you can do that too uh, the portal will break if you destroy the blocks except if you're using this portal helper but the portal helper also makes port like the portal helper makes portals in the same dimension as you are in currently as I mean, uh, it makes portals, it makes another portal in the same dimension. So, uh, that is very useful for map making. You can also make mirrors if you do this, and then you can, you can see yourself. I'm sorry for the excess excessive noise from my computer. It is new and in gaming mode. It does that. I don't know why. But it does. Don't ask questions. Okay, but uh, now that we have these portals, uh, what if we don't want them anymore? Uh, what if we don't want the portals to be here anymore? We want them to disappear. That is very easy to do. All you gotta type is slash portal delete portal. Now you might think, oh, oh, the, the portals are gone. Except no, it is still here. It's only the portal you're facing at. So, this portal right here, there was a portal. Each side is a portal. So, you gotta keep that in mind. If you want to remove all of the uh, portals, ex uh, all of the p connected portals, except the one you're looking at, you gotta do remove connected portals. You see now, this one is gone. And then you can type delete, and then all the portals will be gone. Not all the portals in the world, but all the portals connected to the portal you're looking at. So, uh, let me just show you some more useful commands that you can use, besides the delete, which is very simple, because everyone needs to delete. So now we have these two portals, because they are exactly the same, they're gonna connect. I'm just gonna rotate, slash portal, rotate portal rotation along, and it's of course the y-axis, because we want to flip it. And then 180 degrees so now if we walk through it you see I come out on the same side you have to do this on both portals and uh, I would recommend deleting these in the back just because so now you can walk through and you get out on the same side as you went in so what can you do besides rotating and deleting portals you may ask you can do slash portal, move portal, and then minus 0 0.5 if you want it closer to you, and just 0 0.5 if you want it to move away from you. Uh, the way it moves is dependent on what way you're facing when looking at it. So if you're, for example, doing this, it's gonna move that way. If you're doing this, it's gonna move that way. And if you use minus, it's gonna do the same thing. And you can, of course, do it with both of these. Uh, but uh, you may have seen this move portal destination. You can move where the portal teleports you to. So now I can do this. Oh wait, this wasn't the portal. And I get out instead of you know in the middle. I get out at the start of the block, which you can use for something. Uh, you also you have to do it with both. Uh, wait a second. 
wrong for it. It can be a bit confusing at times because it's it's a confusing mod. If you want to make something, you gotta have a lot of lot of brain power. You need brain power for this. It's very very confusing at times. But now that you know a bit about the mod, I can jump right into showing you what what stuff I have planned for today. Um, I have actually planned three different effect, three different things you can do with this mod. That's very easy, and that anyone with the knowledge knowledge that you now have can do. And if you want to learn more advanced stuff, you can wait to wait like a week or something. And I'm gonna I don't know if I already said this, but then you can watch the advanced one. Um, but um, I hope you I hope you uh, like the video because it's it's getting interesting now. I'm finally back, and uh, I'm gonna make a tutorial video on how to make some non-Euclidean Minecraft stuff. Now I have prepared this little map here, so let's just start with the first first thing. This is a beginner's tutorial. So everyone should be able to follow and I am sorry for the uh, weird sounds in the background that is just my new computer and it does not have a good time. Okay, so uh, this is a very simple little contraption, little portal illusion. You have two hallways or whatever you want to call it and if you look inside the short one it's long and if you look inside the long one it's short that's very simple and let me just show it in full post like first person so right here you can see it's long outside it's short inside you go through it and you're on the other side uh, it can be a little buggy like you can see right here I don't know why it does that but uh, it does if you use fabric you can turn that off, you can do it so it doesn't show your character in in the parcels, but uh, I'm not using fabric right now because because I built this map in another version of Minecraft that used Forge, they moved it to this version, so yeah. Um, okay, that's the first thing, let me now show you how to do it. Okay, so I'm here in another world. And I'm gonna show you how you can make that exact same thing. So, of course, you can do a lot of different stuff with this mod. But first off, you need the portal helper and a flint and steel. Very simple. And all you gotta do is maybe take a few blocks so you can mark out where you want the hallways to be. So, let's just make one right here. So, that's the first hallway gonna make the portal right here and another portal right here now we have the two first portals and then we're gonna make a shorter hallway right here and we're gonna place in the portals remember not to connect any of these portals yet these two has to be broken this one has to be broken and this one has no no uh, so you want to connect these two and these two together in order to make it seem real. So now we do that, you can see inside it's long and outside it isn't long. So we can do this and we can make this and now you can see if you go inside you can teleport it over to the other side and around like that. So these portals are now done, you can now complete these portals and connect those and then you can break this because it is in a normal nether portal. So we can now just kind of do this, connect this all up and make uh, the walls. You can design this however you want, you can also make the portals bigger if you want to. Uh, 
but you don't have to. Uh, let me just complete this one too. Okay. Okay, so now we have the two hallways. Sorry for my computer making a lot of noise. But as you can see, this one is short on the inside and long on the outside, and the other way around. So, very simple. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go right to the next little thing that I'm gonna show you how to make. Okay, so we are back here. I'm just gonna close this door and we're gonna go to the obsidian part. This right here, very simple. Um, the little right here. So, this right here is if you have played Portal, uh, an infinite fall. So you can look down, uh, you can look down here and you can see I'm falling forever. Um, this isn't very hard to make. Uh, whoops. That was not supposed to happen. Okay, anyways. Um, not very hard to make. Uh, you gotta be careful though. Uh, it, it won't look like this exactly. Um, you know, my brother kinda went all out when making these showcase boxes. But uh, let's just close that up. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to make this now. Okay, we are back again. We're in the tutorial world where I'm gonna show you how you can make it. So all you actually need is these two components right here and take some building blocks, let's just take uh, glass, whatever, it doesn't matter. So you're gonna first off select how big you want your portal to be. You can make it f any size that you want. You just gotta keep in mind that you have to dig all the way down to bedrock. I'm just gonna use a fill command because that is much much easier. Come on. Okay, so uh, then we just place a block right here. Fill with air, so we have this hole right here. And now all we gotta do is build up like let's say four blocks, place this right here and then build another portal right on top remember it has to be right on top of it and then you connect it and you can see this portal we don't want to have so you just portal delete portal as I showed you before and then you can see if you look up you can see all the portals there and if you look down you can see all the portals there so let's just do this take some dirt, that's not dirt take some dirt and then you can just kind of do this so it looks real and then if you want you can surround this I don't have Optifine on um, Optifine can kind of uh, break this a little um, you have to keep that in mind when uh, if you want to use Optifine but you can use Optifine it makes the mirrors look way way better but uh, just keep in mind it can create some anomalies whatever you want to call it so now we have this and you can just go in and you're gonna fall forever so the reason you wanna make that hole down to bedrock is because let me just make another one is because let me show you like this if we just do this and just fall down you can see we get stopped every so often and that is because we're landing we get too much momentum and we land on the blocks underneath us so you have to keep that in mind when making this okay let me just do that okay so uh let's go to the next one okay back in this world 
I'm really sorry if this is if the my if my computer is too loud. Um. Uh. But well, anyways. Uh. So uh, let's have this one. Okay. So right here, we have this very simple one. I don't know if you can remember this one from my non-Euclidean Minecraft video, but it is very simple. You jump into here, and then you can just keep going forever. Uh, though I don't rec recommend you do that because you can get very motion sick. At least my mom gets motion sick. But uh, very easy to make. You can just fly down, and like you can't you can't jump up here because you don't. This is the, this is the ceiling. That's right there. So you get pushed down again. Which is also very cool. A very cool thing you can do too is if you go into F5 and do this, it looks very strange. And you can, like, take your character all the way to the halfway point, and then you can't go any further. Um, but, uh, anyways, let me show you how to make this. Okay, back again here. I'm gonna show you how you can make that. So this is very simple, you just make the portal in the ground first, or whatever, it doesn't have to be made first, but just like to do it that way. So you make that portal right there, then you go like two blocks this way, make one block this way, and make the same portal but standing this way, and then you connect them, and you have it, very easily done and very cool okay I know it's kind of annoying that I keep having to do this but I just do that okay it looks much nicer if you build around it and build it, it into a room and stuff but so uh, you can just jump into it and you'll get sh shot out and stuff if you make it like this you don't have to touch a keyboard if you move it like one block further away this portal right here so it's like the middle is on this block instead of this block then you would have to keep holding W unless you don't want to keep flying around and around and uh, if you don't keep uh, holding down the W you will just land right here or something maybe on the block right there but you won't keep going if you move the portal one block away so uh, very simple three different things you can impress your friends with uh, just one I just want to tell you it doesn't look as good like this is much smoother um, when you're like playing single player if you play this in multiplayer and there's some someone else and they go through it uh, you can kind of see their body teleporting around uh, especially in this one it looks really weird but you can show them like you can uh, send them a video or you can just make them go into the, it themselves uh, but just don't show it like when you do it because that won't look great so you can use this to impress your friends and um, I hope you enjoyed I'm gonna make another tutorial soon actually it's gonna be an advanced tutorial this was a beginners very easily done not a lot of commands if any actually there's no commands but very easily done you don't really have to have any knowledge about this mod before you make any of these but uh, if you want to learn more you can wait like a week or something and I'll make an advanced tutorial with um, some portal things like uh, in the Minecraft non-Euclidean non world where I walked straight through a wall and just a second ago where I did it too it isn't actually very hard to do that but uh, you have to use some commands, so uh, I recommend you watch the advanced one where I'll be showing you how to do it. 
Okay, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, you could consider liking and subscribing, because it helps me out, and, uh, and, like, I would like, I would like subscribers, but anyways, if you don't, I don't, I don't, I don't mind, because my life doesn't revol revolve around YouTube, which is the reason I haven't been uploading school and stuff, but now I finally have some more time, and I'm gonna try and make as many videos as I can, and uh, I uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye.